My name is H. Shane Goodman. I'm an author, columnist, and journalist, and to read all my writing, go to counterpropa.com, support the Counterpropa site through the Amazon links and donate button. Share the petition below to get the DNC to give its computer servers to the FBI. The DNC has only used a firm called CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike is no longer as confident as it once was regarding Russian hacking. I explained that in a previous segment where I quote an antiwar.com article. Essentially, the DNC has never given its computer servers to anyone in the U.S. government. It's relied on a third-party crowd strike with no ties to the government, but strong ties to the DNC and Democratic Party. Why on earth would you trust any tech firm associated with the DNC to further the narrative that Russians stole the election from Hillary? I think that's a problem. Share that petition. It's around 5,000 signatures to give the DNC, to, to demand the DNC give its computer service to the FBI for examination. The FBI requested those servers. The DNC denied their request. Before I get to Donald Trump, President Trump, clowning Chuck Todd, NBC's Chuck Todd, I'm going to give you some background. This is James Clapper, former director of national intelligence, telling Chuck Todd a million times that no evidence exists of Trump-Russia collusion. Does intelligence exist that can definitively answer the following question, whether there were improper contacts between the Trump campaign and Russian officials? We did not include any evidence in our report, and I say our, that's NSA, FBI, and CIA with my office, Director of National Intelligence, that had anything that had any reflection of collusion between members of the Trump campaign and the Russians. There was no evidence of that included in, in our report. I understand that, but does it exist? Not to my knowledge. If it existed, it would have been in it this could report. Have been, it, this could have unfolded uh, or become uh, uh, available in, in the time since I left the government. <laughs> what, one month, two months? But sometime, I, we had no evidence of, of uh, such collusion. There's a lot of smoke but there hasn't been that smoking gun yet. At what point should the public start to wonder this is all just smoke? Well, that's a good question. Uh, I, I okay, how much smoke, how much smoke has there been during Hillary Clinton's weapons deal scandals with the Clinton Foundation, the uh, 500 conflicts of interest we found out uh, pertaining to the Clinton Foundation and the WikiLeaks Podesta emails, the fact that Clinton admits to taking money from two Middle Eastern nations that fund our enemies, still accepts their money for the Clinton Foundation. The email fiasco that we can go on forever, smoke, there was fire there. She actually did pay Pagliano to rewire existing computer networks, putting special access program intelligence on an unencrypted private server. It was unencrypted for three months alongside yoga emails that nobody at the State Department this is according to Judicial Watch and according to testimony in court. Nobody at the State Department, again, I repeat, nobody at State Department, aside from Hillary Clinton and two of her staff or two people associated with Clinton, had access to that server. She could have been typing love messages to Putin. Nobody at the State Department could have accessed that server. It was impossible for them. Only Clinton. That's one of the big issues with storing special access program intelligence on a server that you know was targeted by the Russians, Chinese, North Koreans, everybody. You think they're only going to focus on the DNC server, but anyway. I'll get to, and then you have Chuck Todd host a swanky dinner party at his home for top Clinton official. Meet the press host Chuck Todd and his wife, a Democratic consultant, hosted a dinner party at their Washington, D.C. home last year for Jennifer Palmieri, Hillary Clinton's communications director. Give me a break. If people don't want Trump clowning the press, then the press should not have dinners with the Clinton campaign. It's just a simple arrangement that shouldn't happen. You don't see Walter Cronkite having dinner with Nixon, uh, you know, or dinner with political figures at their houses. Trump tells MS and Trump tells NBC to stop covering Russia's story. This is kind of funny. I don't agree with Trump's policies. I voted for Jill Stein and Bernie Sanders. Policy-wise, I want to break up too big to fail banks, etc., and perpetual counterinsurgency wars, single payer. But when you have somebody who gives the same people who cheated Bernie Sanders, gives them fits, 
and insults them and mocks them. These are the people that stomped and bullied and cheated. You, me, everybody called the conservatives deplorable, called me unrealistic and, and all of us delusional, unrealistic, not pragmatic, and they lost $1.2 billion with people like Chuck Todd helping them. But I'll read you. When will sleepy-eyed Chuck Todd <laughs> and NBC News start talking about the Obama surveillance scandal and stop with the fake Trump-Russia story? Do you see what happens when I told you from two weeks, three weeks back, a month back, do you see what takes place? I'm speaking to people who think I'm nuts. And my amazing subscribers who think I'm, you know, they, they don't agree with me. Some of them. This is what takes place. If you want to impeach Trump, this is not going to impeach Trump. It's going to embolden Trump because there's nothing there. There's no evidence. There is evidence for Clinton to get espionage act indictments. She did commit crimes, but there's no evidence for Trump. He didn't, there's no evidence regarding Trump-Russia collusion because he didn't collude with Russia. We don't even know if it's a mole. CrowdStrike is the only firm that looked at the DNC servers. And we know from WikiLeaks Vault 7, Marble, and, uh, all, and all the other releases, that the CIA can hack anywhere and then attribute the hack to anyone they want, Russia, China, whatever. It's the same fake, new, fake news media that said there was no path to victory for Trump that is now pushing the phony Russia story to all scam. Okay, first, the other day he, he trolled the media saying, yeah, Flynn should testify, <laughs> get the immunity deal, immunity deal and testify. Now he's mocking Chuck Todd, which is a virtuous endeavor. You should always mock Chuck, Chuck Todd. Um, I'm joking, but he is manipulating the media. The media is in the palm of his hands. Okay, the palm of his hand. Nobody gets this. You think if you hate him more because he, uh, because of the EPA regulations or because of the wall and all that, I don't agree with it, but you have to counter it with the antithesis. If that antithesis is Bernie Sanders or Tulsi Gabbard or Nina Turner or somebody, you have to counter him with the antithesis of his value system. The media is despised in the United States of America generally by a great many people. All the people who don't like Trump, who hate him, there is an equal number of people who hate the media. Cancels out. That's what I've been trying to tell people. Nobody listens. That's why you're going to have eight years of Trump. So he did a good thing by mocking Chuck Todd because the, these media personalities, everybody from Rachel Maddow to, to, to Chuck Todd, they need to be put in their place. They're not protecting the country from Trump. They're emboldening. They're, they're strengthening Trump's brand. Because when they focus on something that has no, there's, it's completely fabricated. And we know this because the because CrowdStrike already isn't that certain of the Russian hacking narrative that it originally perpetuated with the, with the help of the DNC. You're only making him stronger and tougher to beat in 2020. That's just, nothing's going to take place with the Flynn testimony. Nothing. Aside from another Rachel Maddow tax fail. Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so much for listening.